Bismillah. In the name of Allah, walhamdulillah. And all praises are due to Allah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. And praises be upon the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Peace and blessings be upon him. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaytan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la I be witness that none is worthy of worship save Allah jalla jalaluhu and none can be associated with him none should be associated with him Ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu and I be witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu peace be upon you who are in the uh, direct uh, direct listening or directly tuned in and those who are indirectly tuned in, may the peace and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of all, be upon you. Just wanted to give a summary and update and we will look forward to having more information as that becomes near regarding the crisis uh, confronted by the coalition forces of the uh, Iblisi allies at the uh, center. In other words, at this point in time, it is that in which has begun. There is no turning back from it. And we had the following to give to our respected siblings in the path of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu who are involved in it sincerely with humility, absolute certainty as well. To those children of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, those siblings of ours in arms from the time of Saiful Bahr until this current time, to those whom we've walked the streets, the most common one among them, alike elders, leaders, assistant and administrators, men and women of the Revolutionary Republican Guard and personnel. I would like to address you and outline the following in further clarification of the coalition forces stand on behalf of the former retired Imam's office. The Allied Quranic Revolutionary Republican Guards made the declaration in 2021 Oracles 1 and 4 that a authority is that in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to whomever he pleases and it is not for someone to expect to have authority that is not given to them Clearly cited here, Quran. Authority is most important in that in which we have even the prayer, there is authority, even in the Shahada, in one taking it, there is authority. It is not something in which we can simply bypass and expect to have those who do not have the qualifications who do not have the credentials to actually lead us in Qur'an. So, and therefore, we must make it very clear that it must be sincerely for the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone to respect the Qur'an where and however it is all due. And during the time that is due, it is not something in which can be compromised. Both articles stated that not only will there be no compromise, but the Quranic culture had to be adhered to in terms for such authority to be credible according to the discipline of the Shahada itself. Subsequently, the Quranic revolutionary means called on the Iblisi models practiced in the vicinity of Richmond, Virginia, including, but not limited to, 
ICR, ICVA, WICE or Western Islamic Center, ISGR or Henrico Islamic Center, Masjid Al Falah, so to speak. They were all cited and being possessed and professed of that in which was other than the Quran, they accepted and admitted to it prior to such time. This Quranic Revolution Declaration of 2021 called for it to be done openly, it called for it to be done in a means in which everyone was to see. It called for it to be transparently done in order to give people their choice, whether they wanted to follow in Islam without the Qur'an or whether they wanted to stick with the culture of the Qur'an. However, refusing to have done that, they, meaning the Iblisis, stuck to such as bigot, arrogant. They also stuck, stuck to greed and they lied in terms of that in which they decided to hide. ICVA current president, unfortunately, was made aware of such during the time in which he was simply the treasurer. As a senior brother's brother's incorporated brother element, he had already joined coalition forces. Those changes, as senior brother's brother's incorporated brothers had already incorporated, for they had gone back to 1995. The current predicament which we find ourselves, we must make it very clear, to be very disappointing, very saddening. To wake up one day or to be informed that one who has been smiling in one's face today was definitely plotting behind one's back yesterday. Allied coalition forces had been vigilant and had made precautions based on that in which Sahabas had done during the Battle of Jalula, particularly circulating the rumor that yours truly, particularly, specifically, Muhammad Abdul Fattah had died. We do find that that in itself had aided in the looting Iblisi forces for many times, and it took for the president of the ICVA to put his plot into motion and try to set up and hopefully destabilize the credibility of the Mujtahid of Sharif. Now we are making it very clear that such events of the last Wednesday until currently already mentioned in prior uh, displays must be made transparent as daylight. Number one, we find that Mr. President Jamil Adiola was depriving and bidding one and other which are the progress for worldly profit. B, lowering others with the intent of self-benefit while using means of intentional deceit. C. Making insubstantiating statements to aid and prof and protect false narratives in hope to gain more than rightfully his share, Mr. President. D. Buying and selling or exchanging false information to pursue political ambitions within the covers of the wolf skin i.e. hypocrisy as it to be unbecoming. We want to make sure that the very first charge, which is depriving, bidding, in delaying, or simply neglecting Quranic educational rights to people, is and was deemed back in the revolutionary articles of 2021, the Quranic revolution, to have been a crime against humanity. We want to make additional clarity 
that such circumstances which are misrepresenting conditions surrounding our society today are made to be made aware that the People's Republic of the Shahada to Allah ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have placed personal, mystical and spiritual divisions on the highest state of alert as a result of such breaches of intelligence information. We have demanded from the ICVA president as follows, on top of other measures that have been taken to take additional precaution and have the additional forces to come and reinforce all that need to be forced. A, or to reinforce all, excuse me, of the, of the positions that need to be stable. President Ajola is demanded A, a statement of remorse for his actions. B, to openly renounce the model of Iblis's at ICVA's falsehood. C, to relinquish the Quranic program or pilot, if he may, to the authority of the coalition forces of the People's Republic of the Shahada to Allah, ilaha illallah, anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. And just as we have made very clear and have been uh, conceded to that there is no Quran in the one who does not practice the Quran. As of today, the retired imam's office has extended the deadline for an additional 12 hours. We have opened our channel of communication to Imam Ammar Amanet, but not to any link or administrators of the president's office, family members, in regards to this matter. I want to thank all of those who are currently serving and all of those who look forward to meeting us in the Jannatul Firdausi for your complete devotion and dedication. We want to thank Lieutenant Commander Mind for his response in enabling those of his orderlies and junior commanders to respond to that in which needs to be responded to in terms of this crisis. We pray to our Maker and Creator that he enables us to see the fruits of the Jannatul Firdausi before we even gain victory over the Iblises in this life. We pray that he enable us to be in his way until his decree comes to pass without us wavering even a small bit. Long live the Quranic Revolution Declaration of 2021. Long live those who stand upon it in this life as well as in the hereafter. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give strength to those who are sincere in joining Allied Coalition Operational Forces for this current operation titled Operation Quranic Executive Reform Resolve as well. I want to say and to finally make this statement very clearly as such. We only are expecting the outcome to be that it is made abundantly clear to those who are searching for the truth that only the hereafter is worthy of working for, not this world. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of both, enable his mercy to be upon those of us who are searching to please him and him alone for his gratitude and gratitude alone. And that we walk together with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on that day that there is no doubt of. Long live the Quranic Revolutionary Republican Guards and for what they stand and for what we all stand together as one. Long live the mystical, spiritual and personnel of the Revolutionary Republican Guards. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unify us with those whom he loves the most as he mentioned in Surah Al-Fatiha. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم in praise be upon رحمة للعالمين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and his family and his progeny into the day that we meet him.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and peace be upon those who are searching the true guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.